that it is. And uh, we're going to take your phone calls here on this segment. Uh, the phone number, if you want to weigh in on any of the cases that we're talking about, 888-554-5537, 888-5-KILLER. Easier to remember that way. Tony and Stacy Cole with you on uh, this morning, as always. Uh, let's go to that phone call. Uh, this is going to be kind of interesting. I know it's uh, talking about... Uh, Mormons a little bit, which we talk about oh boy. Quite, quite frequently. Um, but this is uh, some insight here from someone who's been in the church. Hi. Hi, Tony. My name is Jessica. I've, I'm calling from Utah. I've hmm. been listening to your podcast for a while now. This is the first time I've called in. Um, something that I feel like is interesting that hasn't quite been addressed um, throughout a lot of the cases that have been going on recently, especially the Daybells, uh, Lori Vallow, Daybell, and Chad, is the taking the cultural lens of the Mormon church. I uh, grew up in that church, and um, you keep putting out, like, Lori believes that she is a goddess. That is not an uncommon belief within the church. Um, the, the belief either that they are a goddess or have the potential to become a goddess in their next life. So um, there's quite a few interesting cultural things that would uh, would be fun to dive into on the podcast. So I'd love to hear a little more of that. Okay, bye. I wonder if the child thinks she's going to be a goddess someday. You know? Tony! Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be a goddess, mama! Um, yeah, that's... Uh, she's exactly right. And that that's that's what I, I feel is very different about. I mean, I'm not Mormon. I don't really know a ton about it. But from what I've learned from people who have been in that church, um, and I'm not saying, you know, the church raises killers or anything like that. But what I am saying is that it tees up very, very magical thinking that can go haywire very quickly, which is why we see so many... Uh, offshoots of it that you know it, mormons hate it when there's these offshoots because it's like they're not part of us and i get right. it you don't want to be part because they go nuts but the thing is that like it tees it up to this point of like this could happen but it can only be our main ruler our main leader who has these uh, magical powers and then you have these people within the church that go i think i have the magical powers too and then they start off and they start fucking kids um you know that's <laughs> Jesus, <Tom. laughs> that, that's the sorry th how many i, I Look, I giggle just because I've I've known a, f a few and yeah. I can't argue with you on it. I mean, I'm not saying everyone does that, but like that's where no. you have like the what is the um, who is the one guy that broke off and he's creepy as hell. Um, uh, I want to say Miss Cabbage, but that's a whole other discussion. Uh, it's Warren Jeffs. Um, Warren Jeffs was an, uh, he was the. Uh, one of the breakoffs of LDS and had all the wives and brainwashed them. And he's in prison now for fucking kids. Um, and there's still many people that believe in his bullshit. Um, and that's the scary thing when you indoctrinate children into this kind of thinking of like, you can be a goddess, you can be this or that. And then, but there's a supreme human ruler that knows these things and has, you know, beers with Jesus at, no, they don't drink. Um, they have iced tea right. with Jesus. And no, you know what? I I know somebody who knows a lot of Mormon people. Yeah. Um, caffeine is is a big no no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. You can't have iced tea either. Um, so it'll be herbal tea. Yes, that's and that, that's true because you can't have iced tea because iced tea is a sin. Um, <laughs> so, but you but and I know like you can't have multiple wives anymore. Uh, you know, but you for a can't? while, no, no, that, that, that they, they decided that was a bad idea in the 1800s. Um, but if you break off and you create your own, uh, like, uh, the fundamental version, the FLDS, um, then you can, um, and that's what, uh, Warren Jeffs did. That's what a lot of these breakoffs do. And the, the Mormon churches were not part of that. And they're, they're not, they really aren't. But what I'm saying is the, the tenants, the teaching, there's a reason there's a lot of cults that break off of this and and pick and choose different things i mean you have cults that break off of everything but there just seems to be a lot of that within the united states um that kind of have this weird way of justifying horrible behavior uh what really concerns me so much about um anything having to do with um 
you know, these these offshoots of religion and and people who seem to end up in these cults is I, I feel like this is their way of of getting more members and the yeah. people that they are getting are the ones in society that are, are they want they want to belong somewhere they want to be part of something they've been left out of whatever is important to them and they feel as though they don't belong and then they find religion quote religion whatever yeah. they think is going to include them and i've i'm watching it happen i think with my own mother she moved to florida and she we were not religious growing up at all i come from two very different religious organizations in my family. We clashed terribly. And now she is, I think, Baptist. I think she's going to a Baptist church. And it's yeah. just the thing that she has said to me just surprised the living shit out of me. And I'm like, what's yeah. going on here? Well, and it, it's just because she wants to belong somewhere. It is. It's very much that. It's shopping for an addiction. It's, shop, it, it's usually a replacement for something. Um, yeah, something you know, that's missing. It's like, I've already done all these horrible things. Let me try and fill it with something good. And and in some cases, you know, I, that's great. I mean, religion does save a lot of people as far as like them not dying and doing horrible right. things in their life. But the thing is, if you're if you're kind of shopping for it, you're going to go with like, well, what sounds the most appealing? This one says I could be a goddess someday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, and you're, you're who doesn't want to do that? I exactly. mean, even as little girls, we ran around with crowns on our head. We want to be queens yep. and goddesses and princesses. We want that. You don't really hear a lot about people joining the Mormon church as adults. A lot of it's indoctrination uh, as children. And then they just, and I get it. Like, you grow up with something. This is normal. This is safe. This is comforting. This is what you know. Um, and you just kind of stick with it. But you don't see a lot of people going, I'm going to go become a Mormon. Unless it's like, um, you know, like me marry into it or something of that nature. Uh, so I, I don't know. It, it's, and I'm not trying to bash Mormonism, although I kind of am. Uh, but it's, uh, I'm just talking about the facts of what it is um, and what what the perspective, the uh, perception is from the outside. I'm totally open. To anybody wants to open my eyes on this and say something different, uh, you can always weigh in on that. 888 554 5537 is that phone number. But it's, um, there's so many that we see daybells. Um, there's a lot that it just, there are a lot. it goes weird really quick. And it, 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 I'll say this. It's very rarely ever someone who's in just the proper Mormon church. It's, it's always someone who's broken off, but you get there. There's a path you, you take to get there. And I, I feel like that seems to lead people to those places. And yes, other religions do do, a version of that as well. You have fundamentalists, this and that, um, that go off the deep end too. But we see a lot of it in terms of um, killers and weird, horrible ways of thinking and then justified by religion. Um, well, and I wonder if it just attracts that certain type of person the, to these extreme religions yeah. where there's control, there's power over another human being, there's these strict guidelines. And then when you fall out of those guidelines, that's when things go haywire. Yeah, it, it, it does seem to be that very common. So thank you for that phone call. If you want to weigh in, 888-554-5537, 888-5-KILLER. Murder in the morning from the Hidden Killers Podcast. If you like the podcast, uh, press subscribe wherever you download it. Apple Podcasts, you can get an ad-free version to this and all of our podcasts when you sign up there. You can even try it for three days free when you become a premium member of the True Crime Today family. So check it out on Apple Podcasts. For Stacy, I'm Tony. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.